gamete transfer. After their formation, male and female gametes must be physically brought together to facilitate fusion. Fertilization In a majority of organisms, male gamete is motile and the female gamete is stationary. Exceptions are a few fungi and algae in which both types of gametes are motile. There is a need for a medium through which the male gamete moves. In several simple plants like algae, bryophytes and pteridophytes, water is the medium through which this gamete transfer takes place. In seed plants, pollen grains are the carriers of male gametes and ovule have the egg. Pollen grains produced in anther therefore have to be transferred to the stigma before it can lead to fertilization. In bisexual self-fertilizing plants, example peas, transfer of pollen grains to the stigma is relatively easy as anther and stigma are located close to each other. Pollen grains soon after they are shed come in contact with the stigma. In cross-pollinating plants including dioecious plants, a specialized event called pollination facilitates transfer of pollen grains to the stigma. Pollen grains germinate on the stigma and the pollen tubes carrying the male gamete reach the ovule and discharge male gametes near the egg. Male pollen grain reach the stigma and pollen grains germinate on the stigma. Pollen grains germinate the pollen tube Pollen tube contains male gametes. Inside the style, pollen tube grows and reach into the female gametes and fertilizes the male and female gametes in the ovules. In dioecious animals, since male and female gametes are formed in different individuals, the organism must evolve a special mechanism for gamete transfer. Successful transfer and coming together of gametes is essential for the most critical event in sexual reproduction, the fertilization.